So, I've just now worked up the courage to finish my childhood's favorite anime, Samurai Jack. Ooh, man, you know I rode the hype train that led up into Season 5. Me and a roommate counted down the days we were so excited. Then it came out. And then we shit ourselves. And then the show shit itself. I didn't really expect that last one. What a tragic end to a show, right? As always, going into this assuming you've seen all that I'm talking about. If I'm wrong, it's really your fault for clicking this. Anyways, in a weird way, the end for the season fits the gloomy, dark tone that the season premiered with very well. From episode 1, we all knew it wasn't going to end well. There are a lot of problems with season 5 of Jack-Jack Attack, and Ashi is only a major one, so I'll save her for just a second. I want to start with the tone, since I've already mentioned it. We started the season in a holy shitopia, with guns and motorcycles and PTSD and fucking blood, son. We had heavy-handed but functioning parallelism. We had the ninja bitches, getting stitches. See that right there? That's empowerment. The daughters of Aku are extremely capable, dangerous AF antagonists. Of all Jack's opponents throughout the series, we've never seen him take more abuse, physical and mental, that the daughters put him through. They're a real threat. Hard bitches get things done, and Ashi is no exception. Seeing her keep up with Jack is a real treat and is by far her best quality. Once Jack decides to spare Ashi though, you can really see the point where the show just seems to realize that it has an end goal and about six episodes to reach it. Why they chose to do this I don't know, but they spend way too much time reviewing who Jack has saved and who Aku is oppressed. I think they should have included a scene of it, but the whole episode almost becomes a clip show. It's fan service, I guess, but I feel like they could have done just a bit more with it. Jack's already been drummed up as this righteous badass for the whole series. Sure, we've seen that he's become just a bit mentally weak, but showing us how much good Jack has done doesn't create a disappointing contrast or anything, it just seems like we're reinforcing that Jack is the hero, which we know. Then Ashi gets a one episode spirit journey and completely flips the morality ingrained in her since birth. Even though Aku is outspokenly evil, I really feel like there had to be more of some effort put into brainwashing. Something along the lines of no one else could be able to unite the world and govern it. I mean, Jack killed her sisters right in front of her. Is loving Jack for deciding not to kill her any better for her loving Aku for doing the same thing? And then there were some dick jokes. Those were funny, but then the forced romance happened. At this point, the show slides back into a more classic Samurai Jack vibe. Some comedy, random encounters, big fights, the works. While that's not really such a bad thing, I really feel that starting gritty and ending cartoony is the most backwards an ass could be. On the other hand, Aku literally steamrolling armies. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> That's what I really love seeing from Aku, and this season does really well by showing Aku being truly ruthless. It's nice to see the Scotsman and other characters return too, but I feel like they're the reason the tone had to backpedal. For one reason or another, these characters wouldn't interact well with a black swordsman. I feel like it would have worked, but that's where you have to weigh fan service against a consistently changed tone. Aku being a badass tight ropes those two things perfectly, and I think the Scotsman's old appearance does too. Whenever he magics himself back to life though, he acts much more like he did in the past. I'd say he acts more positive and jokey because there's no chance of him dying at this point. And that's something else to talk about. How this season shows people staring death in the face. Like the entire season, they start off pretty well, but get worse as we go on through the season. Jack's pretty much on death's door from the first three episodes, and we see him meditating on how he's acted throughout his life, where he went wrong, and all that. And that's great. The daughters of Aku handle death in much the same way the Scotsman did, raging and believing in their cause. In later episodes, people don't so much as handle death as they die more comically. If it's not a funny death, it's just abrupt. Best examples I can think of are Aku and Ashi, but I'll get to that. Before that shit show, I want to talk about Jack himself. His progression has been one of the most enjoyable things about the show, and I love how much attention it got in this season. 
While I feel like his reasons for coming to peace with the fact that he's killed peoples were sort of shitty, I guess the only way to come to terms with that is to just get over it. One thing that I was pretty bugged about is how he acts around the titties. I get that his life has really only been about killing a coup, but come on man, it's been 50 years and nothing? Those nights in the woods don't get lonely? 50 years, Jesus. But yeah, overall, I like Jack, but I wish killing his inner demons didn't also kill his urge to ride motorcycles and shoot shit because I really wanted to see more than that. So then, the long-awaited conclusion to Samurai Jack. It took me a while to even want to watch it. The vague synopsis that I walked into the episode with was honestly very giving. The first five minutes of the goddamn episode is just people reacting to shit. The whole old intro, Uncle Iroh and all, is still included, in case you started on season 5 and didn't pay attention to all the flashing back. I mean, do we really need to see everyone gathering on the couch? For every character? Aku, though, steals the whole show. Damn. Scotsman's final words with Jack are pretty damn wasted. It's not the worst joke, but this is the last time these hard asses are going to see each other. Is this the best we could do? I don't think she's your type. To say something good about this ending, I really did like seeing the stone samurai have its moment. It's a neat little metaphor about how all these weak people coming together because of a samurai's help can be almost as strong as the Scott chosen hero. But then, Aku shits on them. And then... I love you. Why do you love her, Jack? Because you can kill her, like you did with her sisters? But you feel saintly by sparing her? Or is it just because she happened to follow you and happens to be able to keep herself alive so far? Or... Is it because of that mouth? Screech. Oh yeah, and really, explain why Aku isn't your father. You've only got about a tweet's worth of lines left before you die, so make him count. And then, Aku, who can steamroll armies and open time portals and shit like that, who really should be doing something, doesn't. Oh no. Then, this steamrolling, portal-smashing, world-governing entity dies with a whimper. No final words. No suggesting that killing him will kill the one person that Jack loves and that he chose to let Jack get back. Nope, he's just an explosion for some cool guys not to look at. Then Ashi back to the future's out of there and Jack is a sad boy. But he likes ladybugs, so it's alright. And there's no watcha at the end. Just off the top of my head, some better endings would have included Jack can't get back, back to the past, Samurai Jack, and us to learn to deal with living in Aku's future. This one he's already started making a better place, and it won't just disappear like Ashi did because Aku was still around to shape that world in the past. Or the one where Aku decided to let Jack win out of spite. Maybe he could have reached into that time portal, maybe he could have just met them there and fought him along his past self. Who knows. There's no reason that they should have been able to outrun Aku after all. Just look at that math. A live-action Samurai Jack movie starring Keanu Reeves. Watcha! Hello, hello, and thank you for watching my video. I just wanted to personally thank you all for all the support you've given me over these last couple of months and the constructive criticism. So, yeah, Season 5 of Samurai Jack. While I felt there were some redeeming parts of it, I just feel like it could have been better, what with us waiting for so long. 
If you agree with me, disagree with me, or just want to call me a shithead, please leave it in the comments. I'm still a starry-eyed young YouTuber, so I do read most of them. I'll see you all about next weekend on that Archer video, and goodbye.